What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Shining Resonance Refrain, Oratorio of Betrayal, Opus 5. After your retreat, it seems the Shining Dragon settled down. Scouts report there was no further damage to Marga. I see. Where I failed, their Diva Magica was able to suppress the power of the Shining Dragon. Even if she was the original Diva Magica, that girl didn't seem to be much of a Dragoneer. My power earned me the loyalty of the legendary Draco Machina. Original or not, can she truly be my superior? Still, in that moment when the Shining Dragon unleashed its rage, I confess I felt an unfamiliar rush of dread. Until we find a sure way to control that power, it may be best to avoid provoking him unnecessarily. Agreed. I advise we focus our efforts on locating the souls of the Sea Dragon and the Dark Dragon. The Shining Dragon can wait until we've settled our other affairs. Yoahim, you're the authority on these matters. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Regarding... I was assured that with the World Dragon Souls and the Shining Dragon, we could grant someone immortality. You're sure of this? Hmm? I immortality? Uh, well, without empirical evidence, I can't possibly confirm anything for certain. What? I was told otherwise. Do you mean to tell me the invasion of Alfheim has all been for nothing? Well, I I'm, I'm afraid I don't know what to tell you. Your church told my father that Alfheim held the key to immortality. That was the entire basis for our campaign. And now you tell me you can't confirm? I demand an answer. Forgive me, your highness. Our ultimate goal is complex. Yoahim is simply having trouble explaining it in layman's terms. Yoahim is just an idiot. Rest assured, the souls of the world dragons do indeed hold the key to immortality. We've already made a number of breakthroughs with ordinary dragon souls, such as improved physical resilience. Building on our findings, I can say with confidence that the world dragon souls could serve as catalysts to immortality. Yoahim merely meant that we can't truly analyze the process until we have the soul safely in hand. Precisely, yes. Surely that clarifies the matter. <laughs> Then find me the world dragons and use them. Find me a way to extend my father's life. Am I clear? Understood. His letters paint a grim picture, and his condition grows worse by the day. I cannot bear the thought of my father in such pain. If something terrible befell the Emperor, I may even be denied the throne. My place in the royal family has never been stable. The Empire would fall into chaos, and our people would suffer for it. Above all else, we cannot let that happen. I am well aware. We shall not fail. No more delays. I want a detailed plan on your search, ready by our next meeting. No excuses. Hmm. Weird to see the princess so scared of the Shining Dragon. Her Highness's concerns are well founded. Now we know how dangerous that dragon really is. So Genus was right. I guess the Shining Dragon hadn't shown its true power. But now, this is getting a little more interesting. And Georg, what about your plan? I'm still waiting on that promise you made. It seems it's going to take a bit longer. Besides the world dragon souls, we need a way to control the shining dragon. <sighs> that kid again? Guess I'll have to beat him down sooner or later. Now I gotta think about how to make that Yuma kid unleash all his power against me. It doesn't matter what you do, Zest. Play along or run wild. Either way, you'll only help my cause. And in the end, you shall bow before the might of Deus. Still, 
I hadn't accounted for the princess failing to control the Shining Dragon. We may need to adjust our strategy. Without the Shining Dragon's power, Vandalhorn, the Dragon Resonator, is useless to us. Joachim, with me. We'll need to come up with some contingency plans. Yes, yes. Your Highness. Hmm? Beatrice? Just wanted to make sure you weren't beating yourself up. You'll have plenty of chances to tame the Shining Dragon. I can't say I know how it's done, but... I'm sure your Highness can control the dragon just like Lady Kirika does. Kirika. The original Diva Magica, if memory serves. You speak as though you have a personal connection with her. Something like that. I think she'd prefer we didn't, though. Why is that? Oh, I betrayed her. A long time ago. I was fairly ruthless about it, too. Betrayed? Perhaps it sounds strange, but I don't think that's true. It seems clear you're torturing yourself over whatever happened. But why lie? <laughs> there you go again, Your Highness. You're giving me too much credit. Dark Elf, remember? Betrayal's in our blood. You've expressed that before. I'm not sure what to make of this fixation on your heritage, but perhaps you mean the legend. I've heard the Dark Elf stolen Armonic from the World Dragons in the course of Ragnarok. Ah, oh, so you know the story. The Wellentine Elves certainly did. I see. That's the root of it all, then. From the World Dragon's perspective, certainly I can see how Dark Elves would be condemned. But I see things differently. Indeed, if anything, I owe your ancestors a great debt. A debt? It is thanks to them that the Sanguine Church found the Armonic. I could never have become a Dragoneer without them. Well... I suppose that makes sense, but... So you are no traitor to me. You are a capable and reliable woman. And you have earned my trust. That's simplifying it a little. Perhaps. But I hope my point is made. All I mean to say is that I feel I can place my faith in you. And because of that, I have a request. Would you hear me out? Request? You make it sound so personal, Your Highness. Is this an order or not? A request, and nothing more. You are free to refuse me. I have no intention to force you into a difficult situation. <clears throat> well, I wouldn't mind hearing it first. Certainly. It concerns Georg. Here comes the happy music, because we're going back. Oh, no music. Even as a kid, everyone was scared of the dragon within me. Nobody in that elven village wanted to be my friend. So whenever I could get away with it, I ran off. I used the shining dragon's power to play in the wilds. Flying, rolling boulders. But one day, I ran into a huge monster in the forest. I was terrified. I asked the shining dragon for help. Or maybe I just hid behind him in my own mind. But that was a mistake. Because my mind was unstable, I lost control of the dragon's power. Yeah, we know. He blew up the village. He killed everybody. I don't think we need backstory like three times on stuff. When I woke up, everything was gone. It was terrible. Like seeing the world after a wildfire. Or a volcanic eruption. I had turned it into a wasteland. The explosion consumed everything. Rocks, trees, rivers, hills. The power had left me broken. I couldn't move. I couldn't fly. I couldn't even turn back to normal. Until then, I hadn't realized how terrible the Shining Dragon's power could be. I was paralyzed. In a lot of ways, it was overwhelming. Waves of pain, fear, and regret. I just curled up on the ground and didn't move. I don't know how long I spent like that. 
lying there drifting in and out of consciousness. Probably days. But just when I started wondering if I was going to die there. I'm guessing Joachim trapped you. You're oh. hurt, but it's going to be okay. She appeared. So, what's the word from the castle? Sounds like my father and Captain Burroughs are recovering. But they've both got fevers, and they're still unconscious. I see. I hope they get better soon. Thanks. Well, until they do, I'm the royal here. I've got to keep it together. Any sign of the Imperials around? They haven't made a peep. Why, you'd never guess there was a war on. I see. How are your battles going, Liston? No sign of activity on my end, either. Well, Excella screwed up against the Shining Dragon in that last fight. Maybe they're just being careful. In which case, we should assume the enemy has shifted their focus back to locating the World Dragon's souls. I see. Shall we continue our search as well? We lost the Sky Dragon, but the Sea Dragon and Dark Dragon should still be out there. We can't leave the town undefended. The King's still bedridden, so it'll be tough to pull the army back together like this. I think our defenses can take it. We've had some casualties, but the walls are sturdy, and we have units in reserve. So I think it'd be best if we went out and got another World Dragon Soul. I mean, if we knew where they were... Yeah, we don't have a lot of information to go on. Hmm, a World Dragon Soul. I'm sure I heard something. Brother, do you have some idea? Hmm, I can't confirm this, but my scouts may have spotted something near the Sherian coast. Really? Why haven't we heard about this until now? You haven't verified this? Investigation hasn't exactly been our top priority. Until recently, you'll recall, we were focused on supporting you. So it was just before that big battle, huh? Sounds like a lead to me. Sonia, what do you think? Yes. The Sherian coast isn't far, so let's go! All right, you can now unleash the true power of the Shining Dragon. Sonya has become a Dragoneer. Sonya's dress up. Now that Sonya has awakened as a Dragoneer, she can participate in the ban. Activating ban with Sonya as a center will trigger her dress up transformation. The effects of dress up will change depending on the level of the BPM meter. The fuller it is, the greater her abilities will be. Okay, I don't actually. How do I make her the focal point of the band? AP recovery rate and movement speed. It's always going to be this one. How do I... Oh, hold on. Alright, you're out. You're back in, Sonya. Okay. So made her the center. I think that's I think that's it. Where are we going? Okay, this is a place that I've already been before. I like to say I felt slightly underleveled at the beginning of that fight, and then I felt appropriately leveled after that. Oh my gosh, level 37. Alright, it might actually be time to farm. Um, Enemy approaching. I hate to say that, but it seems like it might be time to farm Get because ready. level 37 is a lot higher level than us. So I'm going to assume the fight at the end of this for the World Dragon Soul will not be an easy one. We can spot it. So I'm trying to decide if I want to just call it. I don't think I need to show you guys me farming. I know it makes this a really slow, short episode of just yes. kind of the intro into Opus 5. Um, maybe I'll hit it with two videos today. Oh, um, one of me, one of, one of this, and then, then we'll do another one of something else. Hey. But like, these oh, things are level now. 43. Get ready, here they come. Is there no other way? 
So I'm thinking probably, oh my gosh, okay, hold on, Shining Dragon Tutorial 2. The Shining Dragon's form has evolved. All of his attacks are powered up. The Shining Dragon will not go berserk in this form. Dragoneers will consume less MP when using force abilities, have reduced cast times, and will be more likely to resonate. If you b perform a band session with while in Dragon Shift, D unison will occur between the dragon and the center of the end. Use the powered up Dragon Shift to gain an advantage in battle. All right, we gotta check this out. Not enough BP yet, no. We gotta get this up. Okay, we are just absolutely insane now. And yeah, we definitely need to level up. We are oh freaking p. I like this dragon form much better than the other one. We're getting decent experience. We'll farm a little bit here, just because I want to see a couple of different things. So we gotta go up top here, where there's actual enemies. Hey, I want to fight these things. Hey, not all at once now. What do we got up here? We got a mass goblin. We got mass goblins and a level 45 mar- Okay. Let's do this. Let's fight you. Get, gotta get that MP back up a little bit. Let's fight this uh, masked goblin over here, and then we'll link. We'll link battle those guys over there. Wow, this is a lot of goblins here. All right, there we go. Got my MP almost full. Alright, let me get you. Come on. Dang it, I didn't... Hold on. We're gonna retreat. I want the Link battle. Come here, buddy. Get ready. Here they come. We may be in trouble. Got a kite, got a kite. Come on. Come on. Get ready. Here they come. It looks strong. Come on, Link. 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 There we go. Okay. Let's turn into the dragon. And now let's play the song. We deal so much damage now. So Sonya is just gonna be levels behind us now because I made the mistake of using Marion. Sonya's tuning ranked up. Okay, I want to do one more fight before we call this an episode. And I want to see the animation for the Shining Dragon. I skipped it there by accident. Not really what I wanted to do. Alright, let's see the new transformation animation. Okay. Not very exciting. Might as well always get out of that. Alright, so I think that's good. That's, uh, you know, not, not anything special in this episode. We learned about the new power of our Shining Dragon, which is pretty O-freaking-P. Uh, how much money do we have? It's only 7,000. 
we'll farm up money um, and we'll farm up experience. So in the next episode, we will continue. We'll be higher level. I'll probably aim for like 36 with everybody and maybe 34 with Sonya. 34, probably. 34. I'll get Sonya to 34 or 35 and then where everybody else is, that's where we'll be. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys then. Peace out.